So, novices again this time, but over the larger obstacles for the first time this week, it's the Arkle Novice Steeplechase, and it's a grade one, of course, at the top we've got Eternal Wizard for Darren Thompson, Island of Plenty for Paul Rhodes, Opulence Leon Van Rensburg, Quail Sketch for David Robertson, Tiger Moth, Paul Rhodes, To Dare Is To Do, Joshua Sutherland, Wild Thing, Derek Hinton, Consuelo Skirt for David Robertson, Dream of Glory, David Healy, Ring of Kites, Martin Lidham, Sagering Alice, for Derek Hinton, Seeking the Stars, David Hooley, and the Little Women for Joshua Sutherland. They're away and racing in the first steeplechase of the week. Uh, heading to the first, and over it they go, and they're all safely over it. They've got 12 more to take. And the Hinton pair right over on the far side, Sagering Alice and Wild Thing are going to be the two to lead them over the second, which they once again all get over. Dream of Glory, just a bat marker at this point. And Sagering Alice is the leader from Wild Thing in second. Ring of Kites, disqualified in the Irish equivalent of this last week, is third. Then the Little Women is fourth, with Consuelo Skirt and Tadere is to do. Tiger Moth after that. The field is pretty tightly grouped with the exception of the leading pair as they get over the third. And come past the big screen, that will be the second last. Next time round, this one will be the last, and they're all safely over it. With the Hinton pair taking them along. Sagring Alice and Wild Thing. And Tiger Moth back in third. And the Little Women fourth. Quail Sketch is in fifth. With Island of Plenty and To Dare is to do. As they get over the next, the back marker at this point, Eternal Wizard. Or Darren Thompson, who took the opener with Trapani. They're heading towards the next. And Wild Thing and Sagaring Alice are disputing the lead. As they take this first one down the back. And they're also fair with that. And the next one will be the water, and the opulence was a little bit untidy and has now dropped to the back with Eternal Wizard. As they get over the water jump, and they're all safely over the water with Wild Thing on the outside of Stablemate, Sagaring Alice in second. Gap of three lengths then to Quail Sketch in third, and the Little Women fourth as they take this big ditch. And they're all safely over the ditch with Eternal Wizard continuing to be the back marker. So past the midway point in the race then they take fence number nine now and Darren it's nose there was the second of the David Robertson two seeking the not seeking the stars I've just lost it for a second a quail sketch another one that made a mistake was Tiger Moth I think it might have been Tiger Moth's stable companion to be fair as they get to this next ditch which they're all safely over again and it's Sagaring Alice and Wild Thing disputing the lead from Consuelo Skirt in second then two dairies to do opulence has come through from the back it was struggling a minute ago and now he's creeping up to take a share of the lead with five furlongs to go Ring of Kites is now coming round the outside they've got three more to take in the arc on it's Wild Thing to dare to do opulence the little woman and then comes Ring of Kites they're coming down towards the third last then now and to dare to do will land in the lead but a much better jump by Seeking the Stars who's now taking it up it's Seeking the Stars who's gone on into the lead the only one who looks beaten is Saga and Alice everything else is still in with a chance Wild Thing is the leader again it's Wild Thing with two to jump three furlongs to go Eternal Wizard has swept round the outside and has come through to try and give Darren Thompson a quick fire double Island of Plenty is in second Seeking the Stars then Dream of Glory Wild Thing starts to drop away Ring of Kites hasn't picked up today they've got two to take and it's Eternal Wizard who comes to the second last lands in the lead Gets away from it well. Then comes Seeking the Stars, Island of Plenty. Wild Thing over the final fence they go. And it's Eternal Wizard for Island of Plenty. Island of Plenty trying to challenge Eternal Wizard with less than a foot on a race. And it's Eternal Wizard in the lead from Island of Plenty. These two are clear of Seeking the Stars and Ring of Kites running on. But it's got to be a double for Darren Thompson. And Eternal Wizard takes it. Darren Thompson takes the first two at Cheltenham. From Seeking the Stars, Island of Plenty, Ring of Kites fourth. And it's a Darren Thompson. Double to kick off the Cheltenham Festival. You've got Darren Thompson in your selection for the charity bet. Then you're off to a flyer with Eternal Wizard seeking the star second. So Eternal Wizard takes the arc for Darren Thompson. Seeking the star second for David Hooley. Island of Plenty for Paul Rhodes was third. Ring of Kites for Martin Leland was fourth. And To Dare Is To Do for Joshua Sutherland was fifth. We'll pass you over to Stu who's going to take you through the next few races.